As you can most probably tell, we are not either doing a tutorial and we are not on the site. We're not doing any work today. Well, we're doing work today, but it's a completely different sort of work. As you can most probably guess by the intro, I'm in central London, I'm in Tottenham Court Road. We're on our way to a meeting and I'm gonna leave it at that for the moment. I'll let you know a little bit more when we get there because hey, I've got to find a place. And uh, yeah. I brought you guys along because I thought I could make today a little bit more interesting. I'm going to try a little bit of a vlog today as we're in London, but a little bit more about that shortly. So let's get on the way. Hopefully I'll make the meeting on time and uh, go from there. I'll let you know a bit more about it when we get there. So I'll see you in a minute. Now, do you remember a few weeks ago where I put a video up about the Brick Lane Bible? made by people called the BDA, the Brick, Lane, De, Br the Brick Development Association. Well, I'm at the head office in London and I'm just waiting to see a guy and we're going to have a little meeting, have a little chat and see what comes of it. And I'll tell you what, I'm in their building at the moment and there is some really cool stuff in here. Yeah. I'll spend a bit of time going around it and showing you a little bit, but first off, I've got to meet this guy and go from there. So we'll be, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, we've had our meeting, we've done all that. It's been a couple of hours since I left you. Yeah, a good couple of hours. Now, I wanna show you around this building. Now, there's quite a lot of cool stuff and this is also open to the public. So if you guys wanna come down, so you're more than welcome to come down. Well, while this is waffling on, I just wanna show you this model. This is a scale model of London. Now, let's flip you around and have a little look, see what's going on here. All right, as it says here, New London model. Now that is an absolutely monstrous model. And the guy who I came to meet was saying that all of these buildings in white are buildings that they are going to be, that they are going to build. There's, there's so many, like all that's going to be new, all that's going to be new. Let's sort of come over here a little bit. This little NLA, that is where I am now, right there. And I came in from there, which is Waterloo Station and walked all the way along there. Well, I've got the tube. All of this is new. This is the city. And then we've got a load. This is sort of where the bankers work over in Bank. There's a load of new buildings there. Then we've got the O2. We've got the O2 Arena over here, which they're going to build a bunch of new stuff over here. So there's so much more new stuff coming in London. We've got the Olympic Park here. I'll tell you what, it's London for ants. That's what it looks like. But yeah, very interesting. So let's, let's have a little wander around and see what else they've got in this place. Because there's some really cool stuff here. I came across this, a little twisted pier, a very decorative twisted pier, out of these tiny little bricks. Look at that, fits in the palm of your hand. And here we go, made with HGM wood-fired bricks, urban mesh twist house. Now I'll show you a picture of this in a minute. The one thing that I don't like is the fact that there's plenty of straight joints in this. I'm pretty sure there's, it leans a little bit. I don't want to wobble it too much, but yeah, it's a little bit, little few straight joints in there. But anyway, that's, that's quite interesting. Now let me just show you the picture of the house. Where is it? It's along here somewhere. Here it is, the twist house. Now check that out. That is not obviously built in those little bricks. And this was in Islington in London. I think that's a bit much for a, uh, a conservatory, but I tell you what, it's quite, 
Some fantastic brickwork on that one. As I said, this place is open to the public and it's Store Street, London, Tottenham Court Road. Um, the brick building is called. I'll put the um, I'll put the address down in the description if you want to come along. So you're more than welcome to come and have a look around. There is all that stuff that I've just shown you, but also there are plenty. There's there's loads of little booths about new and up and coming products and things like that. I'm going to take you downstairs. We're going to have a quick little look. But from here at the moment, let me just flip you around and show you what I mean. Like there's there's windows. It's sort of like a bit of a showroom really. Windows and over here we have bricks. I'll tell you what. I'll walk over there and show you. Before I talk about the bricks, there's this. This is a set of stairs which they are building just down there. And do you know what that is made out of? I thought it was tiles, but it's actually made out of solid cork. Yeah, made out of wood. It looks like it's been tiled, but it's actually made out of wood. I would have thought that'd be a bit of a fire hazard, but who knows? But yeah, lights. I don't even know what this is. Some sort of like cladding system, tiles. It's almost like B&Q, but on steroids. Now this uh, roofing tiles, now don't even get me started on those. This is one thing I wanted to show you. This is wood. I don't, it's like timber, but you can move it around and have it in any sort of design you want. Like you can see how jaggedy that is. There's pictures here to explain what I'm on about. How interesting is that? It's in Dubai, of course. But you can sort of, hopefully that you can pick that up on the camera. It's sort of, you can have it any texture you want. Just move move this cork board around. I don't know how you'd fit it, but you move that cork board around. I don't even think it is cork, but it's wood. Move it around and have, the, have it however you want. How interesting that, oh look, you can even have glass. Really, that's a bit trippy. How cool is that? That's impressive. Something that I was talking to Matt the guy had about, had a meeting with, just for showing something off. This isn't the best bit of brickwork, straight joints and all sorts, but it's some sort of, lintel system where you have bricks on the underside it's interesting all your different wall ties and tiles yeah like i say b and q but on steroids it's like a showroom anyway if you're building a house or if you're doing a bit of renovation work or you have an extension built or something like that and you're in the area i would seriously advise coming and have a look here there's there's a lot here we're going to go downstairs now hopefully i can get downstairs i haven't been downstairs yet so we're going to go down there have a little look around and see what else is there but cork cork stairs not in my house mate that's for sure not quite sure what this is down here but oh, products and materials that's what we want to have a look at there's a close up of that staircase i was looking at up there let's have a have a closer look now you can see i'm guessing these are joint lines i don't know how it's attached i guess it's screwed in somehow but it's it's cork i generally thought it was tiles interesting how they've done that you can see a few wedges put in there to tie it together it actually looks quite smart but i would be a little bit dubious about how how structural that is evidently it's obviously structural otherwise it wouldn't be in a place like this not made out of brick but let's see what else there is is that the cheating way to lay bricks is it the easy way to lay bricks is it the easier way to lay bricks we're not technically laying bricks are you you're almost tiling i suppose very interesting I've seen it before, never used it. What do you all think? Let me know down in the comments. Is that the cheat you way to lay bricks? Let's have a look at this one over here. That's the actual system there. I'll tell you what, you can get some nice crisp perps in there. Look at that, that's some good perps going down there. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Yeah, you can tell just on the just on the edges that joint slightly off coloured. I don't know if I'd like that. But like I said, I bet that's quick, I bet that's easy. Anyone could do it. Just gotta screw these railings onto the onto the the building. I guess this is probably what you'd use on a timber built house. You wouldn't want to put that with a cavity and block work. Timber built, I'd say. If you're gonna lay blocks on the inside, you might as well have a cavity and lay bricks on the outside. But well, it's an interesting product. I wonder how much quicker that is than laying bricks. Yeah, there is a lot 
a lot of information here, not necessarily information, but you've got a lot of different companies selling you what I would, what looks like forward thinking companies selling you some interesting developments. Well, I don't even know what that is. What is that? Apparently that one's coming soon. You can have coloured concrete back here. Like I say, if you're doing your self build, an extension, anything like that, I'd really think about coming here, having a little chat with people. Some very good modern forward thinking products here. So yeah, like I say, I'll put the address down in the description. So come and have a butcher's if you get a minute, even if you just want to come and have a look at that cork set of stairs or that massive model of London or the cheating brickwork. But no, very, very interesting stuff here. I've been, I've already been walking around here for half an hour. Everything, even drainage. That is a deep, deep gully. I shouldn't really be saying that, should I? Oh, of course, there it is. Windows. They're not your normal UPVC windows. Oh, they cost iron, bronze. Now that is what we should have had in the house. Check that out, that's a nice one. Nice gothic arch above that. I'll tell you what, it'd be interesting how much they are. It wouldn't really fit this grand scheme of, uh, of the build, would it? But they're some very nice, they're almost like the critter windows, but for them, for, uh, but with good double glazing in them and looking nice. I'll tell you what, they're very nice. I like them, what they're called. Architectural bronze casements. Seriously, you gotta come down here and have a look at this. If you're in London, Definitely think about it. Oh, new, new displays. But another reason why I decided I wanted to come and film is because we're gonna take a little trip, have a little walk around London, see if we can find some nice brickwork. I've been told by the guy who I came and had a meeting with that there's some, there's a, some nice bit of brickwork around the corner, a bit echo in here, nice bit of brickwork around the corner. So we're gonna take a little walk and uh, go and have a quick look, see if it's as good as he's saying. So let's go and take a look at that. If you're like me and you love your bricks, Weinberger, they've got a stall here. I say a stall, it's more like a showroom really. Nice bit of brickwork there, we've built that, knew what they're doing. These, I'll tell you what, these are interesting. There's a house near where I live that they built all the inner leaf and the outer leaf out of these. I'm very interested with those. Why are they, why are they good? Why are they not good? I'm, yeah, I'm very interested about them. The Pro Therm, because the ones that I've seen are 150 mils, slightly bigger. Oh, those ones there slightly bigger and then you've got cavity and obviously on the outside but that is very interesting i'd like to know the uh details about that but unfortunately there's no one here to talk to so but yeah i do like those are nice bricks but anyway they also do roof tiles don't get me started on roof roofing i'm not i'm not interested in that at all what we got in here oh, is they staffs staffishy blues yes Oh, what else have we got in here? I'm having a right on nose through here while no one's around. Oh, wood flooring, nice. Are these pavers? I don't know. Oh, right on nose through here. Anyway. Yeah, so definitely come down and have a look. Cool, look at that. You wouldn't want your house built out of them, would you? That's a bit too red, all the green ones. Nice and shiny, it looked like someone's kitchen, that wood. Well, before we go, here's another product I've stumbled upon that I found very interesting. All right. <clears throat> full fill built-in insulation system now all you long-term viewers of this channel know that I much prefer a partial fill cavity but this has got insulation I'm not quite sure what that is it says here there is a built-in protection from wind driven rain okay yeah fair enough but what is it and again there ain't no one here that I can talk to I'll tell you what, they're nice bricks. They look, they look quite, quite fancy and a bit of recessed joint. But yeah, I'm very interested about this product. Cavity Therm, full built, inbuilt, whatever it is. Full fill built in insulation system. system. Extra Therm. I'm, I'm saying that because I'm going to have to look that up when I get home. No rep here. And this again, very interesting. Insulation for the roof to have valleys and, and hips and different falls. Yeah, very, very, very interesting to be perfectly honest with you. There's a little video here. I'm not really going to sit here and sort of make you watch it. You can Google it if you want to see it. I might put a link in the description if you can find one. But yeah, very, very interesting. But again, oh, there's different, 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 different sorts. Yeah, that's definitely something to consider in the future. I'd, uh, I'd like to have spoken to someone about that. 
interesting to see the difference between full well i like i like partial fill because you've got that air barrier but full fill if there's some sort of protection i'll be interested to hear what they have to say about it but you have to say a lot to, for me to believe that because partial fill i think is the way forward as long as that 50 mil or 100 mil or whatever it is half that cavity is filled up with as long as it is sound enough and it is enough insulation to cover then go with it in my opinion that is in my let me know down in the comments what do you guys reckon full fill partial fill anyway i've just stumbled across a ping pong table that is the most random thing i've found in a place like this i'm not going to play ping pong anyway i think we're done down here I'm saying that what else have i seen oh let's have a look through there sorry excuse me <laughs> what's this oh it's the WC. I don't want to go in the WC. <laughs> anyway, right, so that has been the sort of showroom down downstairs. So if you do decide to come here, the room with the big London map in it is downstairs from there. So right, we're gonna take a little walk around the corner and go and have a look at this building. This guy was saying he's got some interesting brickwork on it. But before we go, what's this over here? Of course, some of these tools look like they've been taken out of my tool bag. Someone was saying my tool bag looked very rusty. What is this all about? Oh, here we go. A reciprocating stone floor. I thought a reciprocating was one of those saws. That's very interesting. Hmm, huh. that's something new. We've got a few models and a bit of forward thinking again. That's, that's a nice wavy looking wall. Anyway, I'm not gonna go into too much detail about all these because I think you guys should come and have a butchers yourself. Everyone loves a little trip to London if you're in the area. Oh, nice set of stairs, cool. That'd look nice in our hallway, wouldn't it? I wouldn't say no to that. Cheers guys, thank you. See you later. Oh, it says in on that automatic door. What a fucking idiot you are, Rodders. There you go, the building centre on Store Street, Tottenham Court Road, London. Again, I'll put the address down below if you want to come and have a look. Yeah, it's very interesting, got cafe there as well, nice little shop, lovely little shop. They've got plenty of products in there that are, like I say, very interesting. But just make sure, turn your music down, I'm making a video. Make sure you when you come along, if you want to talk to someone about it, go and collar them. Because when I was there, I think it was on lunch break, because there, there was no one there. Anyway, let's go and try and find this house, uh, house. I don't even think it's a house, I don't know what it is. We'll go and find this building and... Um, see what this brickwork is all about. So I'm walking around and I've been seeing these bricks more and more often. They're like double length bricks. I saw them in the office when I was having a meeting with matey. I'll tell you what, these are becoming more popular. I'm not sure if I like the look of it. What do you all think? Have you seen these before? That core, I'll tell you what, that ain't very good, is it? I wouldn't have done it like that. I don't see why they wouldn't have put this one in a full stretch that way. But anyway, let me know down in the comments. What do you reckon of these double length, double length bricks? Interesting, I wouldn't mind having a go laying them. Look at that for an archway. I'll tell you, you can see a lot of stuff like this just walking around London. That is a beautiful arch, look at that, triple steps. That's a, a tidy bit of craftsmanship, that is. Weather struck point in as well. Yeah, that's very smart. A little bit of dental course, uh, not dental course, a little bit of cobble in there. And then we go straight up. Yeah, very nice. You can see a lot of stuff walking around London. I've only just gone around the corner. I've seen two nice bits of brickwork. Anyway, onwards. Well, I'm at the building. I couldn't tell you if this is good brickwork or bad brickwork. Let me flip you around and I'll show you exactly what I mean. I'll start here. It's almost like there's a zipper going up this building. Have a butcher's at that. What the hell is going on there? That is some serious craftsmanship there. And I'll tell you what, I bet they didn't do that on price. How would you even price that? You'd have to do that on day rate, wouldn't you? I'd call that a zipper building if that was me. You, cool, how would you even level that? How would you plumb that? God knows. Let me put my other lens on and try and get a better look at it. Yeah, check that out. 
there's where I was showing you a second there's the front door it's like a cafe here that is some insane brickwork I mean, look at that going all the way up there the whole way up let's try and get in and look up at it cool that must have taken forever all that stuff is your blues so again that must have cost an absolute fortune but that is uh that's quite a bit of brickwork right and that's what i'm going to call the zipper house if you want to come and see it it is on riding house street in london near tottenham court road about a five ten minute walk from tottenham court road yeah very interesting so if you do want to go to the brick building which is just around the corner and here get off at of tottenham court road and they're both within sort of like five ten minutes of each other so so i'm going to make my way back now i was going to um I was going to where, where am I going? Going the wrong way. I was going to spend a bit more time going around London and show you some more, some more sites, some more architectural parts of London. But I need to get back. I've got to get back on that roof and get that roof finished. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of sign off here, leave it there for today. Hopefully you've seen a little bit of what London has to, has to offer. Let me know down in the comments how many of you are from London, and also let me know if you do want to come and see the brick building, that funny weird old building over there. But um, okay, so from there I'll leave it there. So. If you did enjoy this video, please do leave a like down below. Subscribe if you aren't already. Ring that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. Remember, brick slave wage is paid. And I will see you guys in the next one. So take care. See you later. Ta-ra. Quick one before I actually do go. Would you be interested in me making a video about doing a tour of London and all the great spots and all the beautiful brickwork and all the beautiful buildings? Yeah, that would be very interesting. So let me know down in the comments because I'd be more than happy to make that video. It'd actually be quite good spending a day around London, sort of just going around, because I've only really walked down three or four streets and there is so much good brickwork around. Like, just show you the couple of arches, that building, there's tons of it around. So, yeah, let me know. Would you like to see a tour of London, the brickwork tour of London or something like that? Anyway, just an interesting idea. So, I'll see you guys next time. Take care. See you later.